Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I'm your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. We are summoning the Dark Elves from Nefelheim. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm really liking this deck. I like it more than last night's Angels. This is a Golgari Elf Tribal deck. Uh, this featuring this buff gentleman here. This this absolute bruiser of an elf. Look at this dude. This dude's an elf. He's all burned up and scarred. He's got bulging muscles and a beard. Oof. It's not the kind of that's not the kind of elf that you're used to seeing. So, and this ain't the kind of elf deck that you're used to seeing too. Usually, elves are the good guys. Well, these elves are brutal. These are the dark elves. We have some black in this. It is Golgari, green black, um, and it is the absolute shadow of the forest. So let's take a look, folks. Nivelheim, Nefelheim, Nifelheim. Either way, I know I have a lot of guten Abend to all my. German viewers, um, maybe you guys can school me on the proper Germanic and or Nordic pronunciation of it. Um, but if you're not subscribed, um, if you are viewing and you're not subscribed, um, I gotta warn you, man, the like and subscribe will come and get you. Uh, he's out there, man. So please, tenderly hit that like button. Gently. Hit that subscribe button and you'll be safe join us on our stream twitch.tv slash that villain j every night at around 11 o'clock for live streaming and if you just can't get enough villainy in your life i would love to see you on the discord where sign up is closing quickly for the 1000 subscriber special tournament that we are running right now all those links will be in the description so why don't we get to a deck breakdown here? A lot of new stuff, almost, almost completely new stuff. A few older cards, but uh, a lot of the newer stuff. Dusk Wielder, one of the boast cards, one of the new mechanics. I like this new mechanic. Elf Berserker, good early blocker, and has a little bit of life drain when you attack. Um, a one two for uh, a one two for one black. Common. With boast. Uh, pretty good. Jaspera Sentinel. Eh, I'm not sure about her yet. She does tap an uncrapped creature you control to add one man of any color. Pretty cheap, too. A good early blocker for flying decks. Good sacrifice play for early flying decks. But uh, there's a lot of elves to choose from, so I'm trying to pick the cream of the crop here. One of the ones I really like is a Tajiro Knight Blight Blade. Uh, you'll see me play this in a lot of decks. A 1 1 Death Touch Elf Rogue. Uh, for one green mana, yes, please. Uh, Death Touch is one of those, the great equalizer. It doesn't matter what they're coming in with. They don't have first strike or they're immune to death proof or something like that. They're going down. So everybody's afraid of getting in this guy's way because he's got that sweet poison blade. We got Feed the Swarm. We don't really need Feed the Swarm. I actually might swap it out for something different like um, Heartless Act. I don't know yet because it does have oh we already have heartless act in there oh go figure um what deck have i been playing anyways uh you could even put blood chief's thirst in there because we don't really need the enchantment removal i like a little extra enchantment removal uh i don't think it ever really hurts especially with as many sagas as people are playing right now it's not that bad of an idea but if you don't want it because this isn't really a life gain deck and you're worried about life go for it Heartless Act, early removal, and it will also get rid of those counters. Both is very useful, and it's an instant. It's not a sorcery, much like Blood Chief's Thirst. Skemfar Avenger. Now, this is an interesting one here. This is a rare, but it is a t uh, an Elf Berserker. Look at that one. She is going nuts. She's going hard. Dual wielding, maul, and axe. 3-1, so it's very aggressive. Uh, and whenever a non-token Elf or a berserker dies uh you control dies you 
you draw a card and you lose one life. This can backfire if you are very low on life and your creatures are dying. So be very careful about how you use her and how that goes. But it can give you a little bit of card control if you are sacrificing some early plays. Now there's the Elfish War Master. He is serious, isn't he? Uh, whenever one or more elves enter the battlefield under control, create a 1-1 one, one Grief Elf Warrior token. This ability triggers only once each turn. Doesn't matter. We put four of these in our deck. This is the one elf card that I would recommend you to make because it'll fit just about anywhere. Even in a white-green warrior deck with, uh, if you want to do elves. And, of course, that final ability. That's the closeout ability there. It's very expensive, but with the amount of mana generation we're going to get in the late game, we'll probably get it sooner than later. Elves you control get 2-2 two, two and gain death touch. Um, as many elves as you're going to have on the board, that's going to be a massacre. Inscription of Abundance. As I always say, one of the only inscriptions that I actually enjoy. Uh, has that lovely kicker on it. Always useful to get counters, gaining life, or fighting another creature you control. And if you've got the scratch, if you've got the mana to spend, why not get all three? Sculptor of Winter. An elf rogue. Now, I included this one, and uh, you can either go with this one or Jaspera Sentinel. Either one will add you a little bit of more um, mana. I just wanted to play around with some snow mechanics. Uh, we do have some snow lands, so I figured we should, well, just try something snow. Uh, we all like snow. Snow is very good. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, both of these generate life, but in different ways. Whichever way you want to do it, this is a 2-2, this is a 1-2, but it has reach. Either way, we can do it. Um, still wanted to play around with some snow uh, with some snow abilities there. Wilderborn Preserver. Now, this is from Eldrain. Uh, flash and reach. It's an archer, despite the fact that she does not holding a bow. She has a bow on her back. But she's holding a lance and a sword and mounted on a giant fox, which makes me think knight. But hey, I'm not an artist. Uh, I'm not a card designer. Uh, that's what they wanted. Now, the fun thing about this, when you pair this with Elvish Warmaster, you're going to be able to immediately trigger uh, Wilderborn Preserver. Um especially with Flash, if you have plenty of mana, because as soon as this elf hits the board, an elf token is going to come out. And that's a non-human creature. It doesn't say uh, non-token non-human. It just says non-human. So you can immediately flash somebody out. If you have the extra mana, the other elf hits the board. Boom, you pay your extra mana. This becomes a 7-7 seven, seven immediately. Uh, with Flash and Reach, ooh, you can catch somebody. You can catch a dragon like that. Um... So, check out for watch out for that uh, watch out for that combo. Very very cheap, and uh, basically can just immediately become something crazy that you better that you didn't expect. Uh, I wouldn't even be mad if you put four in there, but we're only going three because we want to try out some of these other elves. Wilt a little bit more artifact and enchantment removal. So artifact removal is also very important because I've seen people, because of some death touch stuff, I've seen the return of Mirror Shield all the way from back in Theros. Um, very interesting. Uh, but get, definitely get rid of those artifacts. Definitely get rid of those enchantments. It's also cycling, so if we don't need it, chuck it to the curb. Lanowar Visionary, draw a card and add green mana. Not a bad idea to throw that classic one in there. Lanowar Visionary, I think, is a pretty classic card. Been around for a while. Um, so that's one, that's a pretty good one too. Harold King of Skemfar. Uh, two, three menace. I'm not crazy about him, but he's a good, uh, decent drop. You can look at the top five cards of your library, reveal an elf, warrior, or Tyvar card from among them and put it in your hand. So he can bring out, help bring out Tyvar Kel, um, and some other elves that you want. Now this one is a very powerful card. This is a sleeper card here. When Skemfar Sage, a 2-5 for 4 mana is pretty pretty beefy. A Skemfar Sage, Shadow Sage, enters the battlefield. Each opponent loses X life or X is the greatest number of creatures you control that have a creature type in common. So if we have 10 elves on the board, um, 
guess what? They're going to lose 10 life or we're going to gain 10 life. Uh, either one. It's going to be very, very, very... It's I've, I've won games just by putting her out. Uh, very powerful elf cleric there. Uh, be wary of her. And a great blocker. Tivarkel, there's a Planeswalker. You know I don't really like playing Planeswalkers, but he is definitely worth it. Plus, I drew him out of the pack. Elves you control have Add Black. Um, for zero, you can create Elf Warrior tokens. You can put a 1-1 target, 1-1 uh, uh, counter on an Elf. Untap it. It gains Teth Touch. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, negative six, you get an emblem. Whatever you cast an L spell, it gains haste into the end of turn, and you draw two cards. Bind now here comes here come these sagas. I love these sagas. Two of my favorite. Binding of the old gods is amazing. Destroy target non-land permanent. So that's a removal for any non-land permanent. Artifact, enchantment, planeswalker, it's gone. Um Search your library for a forest card, put it on the battlefield tapped. Great ramp. And creatures you control gain Death Touch in the end of the turn. So another full full bore of Death Touch going in. So just absolutely smash people. Honestly, the first one of those, just to destroy a target and not land permanent for four mana, uh, is just amazing. So Binding of the Old God's very good. And of course, we have Harald Unites the Elves. Uh, mill three cards. You may put an Elf or a Tyvar card. So that is the, the Planeswalker we have. From the graveyard onto the battlefield. Very, very useful. Put a 1-1 counter on every elf you control. Very useful. And whenever an elf you control attacks, target creature, an opponent gains, uh, an opponent controls gain 1-1 one, one to the end of turn. So when you bring all those elf in, uh, you attack with that full bore elf. You go in with that hard, hard super attack. Uh, you're absolutely going to rip them to shreds. Uh, it's going to be good. Six snow-covered swamps with three regular swamps. Six, three uh, regular forests with seven, six snow-covered. Two dark poor pathways because we can untap them if we do have Sculptor of Winter out, so they don't necessarily have to come in tapped. And, of course, two woodland cab. Uh, oh, yeah, woodland cab is the one that comes in tapped. Darth boar, uh, dark boar, this is the new Golgari pathway. Very useful. If we look at it on um, the big board here, 2.2 average, very fast. Uh, 26, a little skewer heavy towards forest so if you want to put a little bit more forest than um swamp in it i'm not mad at you but it's always useful to have that in there uh plenty of creatures 25 elves all elves good instance good all around um fluctuation only 22 lands very cheap decks so we don't really need them that much really it's two that's what this is gonna work we're gonna show you on the alternate view here two mana to run it uh but see that Two mana. Two mana to run it. Three gets you a little bit more. Four is where you're going to bring out the bangers and the closers, but really all you need to run this deck is two. So don't worry about it. Um, so that's what we're looking at there. Do we have a good appropriate card back that I like? Eh, not really. Not really. I think we're going to go with the flat black. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can't find a game. All right. We're going to find a good one. Oh. That one's a secret, guys. You'll have to wait and see. You'll have to subscribe if you want to make sure you see that one. So, I wasn't looking at chat. Did I miss anything? Did something weird happen in chat while I was explaining the deck? That would be funny if that, if while I was explaining the deck, uh, I, uh, something weird happened. Snow says no, so I, I have no choice but to believe her. Um, all right, so very good overall, very quick. I like this. I'm going to keep it. Uh, and we're going to play Swamp first. And we're going to go with the Woodland Chasm later. Gamlingor.
Fearless Fledgling. Okay, so this is a Selesnia Land Dropper. We haven't seen these in a while. Um, let's get Llanowar Visionary out of there. Alright, perfect. Next. No attacks. Uh, yeah, I'll bring it on our Sentinel. So that's how we really, really bring the ramp in. I'll, I'll lose the other uh, Jasper, Jasper Sentinel. I'm not really worried about that. But I'm going to hit Pining of the Old Gods um, pretty quick here. Oh, it's an, it's an Abzan Luminarch. Okay, I know who's getting, uh, I know who's getting uh, binded. I'm getting binded by the Old Gods now. No blocks, I'll take the four. Mm -hmm. Snow cover forest. No. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think I gotta get Conclave Mentor. I think that's the bigger danger right now. So you can see we get we get big board state pretty quickly, uh, and we've ramped fairly fast because we're going to get another forest out to put on the board, um, and then we're going to get the death touch. Once I bring out Skemfar Avenger, I'm pretty sure um, it can pay for any deaths that we incur. Uh, he's got a choice here to attack with Fledgling, so he's going to remove him. All right. Good call. Good call. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Another, another, uh, another forest. All right, we got to put a mark on the board here. So I don't know if he's going to get rid of that enchantment. If he does, we're going to go in for the full massacre. Uh, we're going to go for the full board massacre because we're going to get, um, we're going to get, uh, death touch on everybody. So let's see if he can remove that. Doomscar is what Ragnarok is. Basically. Jerry Blightblade. So we actually don't need, of all the times, we don't need it to be uh, death touching. But we're still gonna attack, hit, 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 hit. You're gonna stay back. No, you're gonna go in. I would imagine so, and we're gonna we're gonna target the opponent. I don't know why it tells you to target an opponent. There's only one opponent, so I don't know what the we have been in the most zone. <clears throat> so we have one blocker for the fledgling and one blocker for the luminarch, unless he draws some removal. He's got a full he's got a variety of mana here, but he hasn't been playing very much. Um and we also have Skem for Avengers, so anytime he kills one of our creatures, we're going to lose a life, but we are going to draw a card, which will give us a little bit of a leg up. I like anything that whenever he thinks he's not benefiting us, he is. Okay, so in that, in that situation right there, um, exactly that happened. We're going to gain a card. And there's Harald. Skem for King there. We have plenty of mana, so we need to start blocking these guys. 
Uh, that is going to hurt us. Another thing. Another swamp. Wow. It just really, really doesn't want me to do very much here. We get to look for something. Um, we will take you, sir. And we will immediately play you. Uh, and I think we need the life. I'm worried we're going to die. So I would rather gain the life here. Okay, so now he's got to make some serious decisions about blockers. I probably could have made him lose the life, and I think I would have won. But I was a little bit scared. I was a little gun shy. That's what happens when you're using new cards. Uh, I should have I should have waited and done the math, but I'm kind of shooting from the hip here. Um, <clears throat> if he doesn't attack, he he cannot attack. Basically, he's got to block. Um, because if he attacks, he's dead. Yeah, there he goes. Uh, let's see what we get. Hopefully it's not a land. There's only 22 land cards in this deck, and I've gotten 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 of them out so far. So I've got like half the land cards out. Uh, oh, let me bring up Assistant. Inscription of Abundance. Okay. He's going to make me draw a card. So he's going to bring out Scalf Harm Avenger. So we're going to put out Swamp, Elfish Battlemaster, and he's done. Yeah, he's dead anyways. He's dead anyways. Uh, he got a little mana screwed, but you can see how quickly board state grows on this one. Um, we can really get out of control quick. Uh, things can really, really get out of hand for them. Fast-like. Um, so let's keep it going, guys. Uh, with with as much kinds of variety of little tricky ramps we can get, little extra bits of mana, and as cheap as the cards are, um, especially with the Death Touchers and other things that we're bringing in, um, we can really put out some really put out some power. All right, Tajiri Blight Blade. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm not happy about Woodland Chasm being there, but um, I can start with Tajiri and go from there. He mulliganed. He's got these lovely Izzet backs, which I just bought today. Um, okay, let's do that. Maybe we'll draw a non-tapping man. I really just want to get two. Um, he's going to burn it. He's thinking about burning it. Yep. Premature, man. Premature. Do not burn stuff unless your whole, unless your whole deck is burned. I mean, then, then go for it. But um, you're eventually gonna run out of burn cards. That's the issue. Fifty-two. So he's only got sixty cards. Twenty-four, of which are mana. He's only got so many burn cards. Um, well, I know the doubles that don't tap are the pathways, but uh, as far as that goes um, all around, um, uh, I wanted to get some snow-covered lands um, because I like snow-covered. Uh, I just wanted to play with some snow covered. So it, it, it is a little slower. Maybe it's not the right fit for this deck and just use the regular snow covered. Um, abilities that we have. So now we're going to get a big board state for three mana. And his red is tapped, so he can't burn me up right away. He can on his turn, but he's only going to be able to hit some of it. Um, so let's see here. I have not run into a single single poison counter deck yet, if you can believe that. See, he's, he's out of bullets in his hand. Um... He's out of bullets. He's only got one card left. All right. Hopefully it's going to be a mana, and I can show you how quickly Wilderborn Preserver can, can get out of control. Perfect. I might only do Snow Basics, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Lofty 
denial. I'm going to I fucked that up. I clicked the wrong thing. Yeah, poison counters are very old. Uh, ooh, that one's gonna get eaten right away. He's just gonna get eaten, eaten up, isn't he? Ooh, I could just eat you up. Is it prowess deck? Uh, you're playing too fast, buddy. You're trying to do too many things. Uh, we're gonna save you, and we're just gonna go in. Alliance. Very nice. Okay, we're going to search for a basic land. It comes in tap, so we might as well get Woodland Chasm. Then we put another one of those. Then we put that. Uh, and we're going to wait for Doom Scar. We're going to wait for Dusk Wielder. We're going to pay three to immediately do that. And then we're going to go shoot, shoot. Blitz of the Thunder after. Okay, there it goes. Uh, spent a lot of his mana to do that. Creatures who control Dane Death Touch, which is unnecessary. We put him out. We put him out. Might as well start pushing the pistol. He's down to seven. And he's drawing one card a turn, and he already played mo a bunch of his card draw. Um, so. He might have some removal, but. Whatever removal he plays is going to give us card draw here. We've got a full board of mana. Uh, yeah, that's not looking good for home team. Oh yeah, it's definitely not looking good for home team right now. I think people, yeah, I think McBash is right. I think that you're probably going to see less and less of that uh, as time goes on. Your courage is legendary. Um, because I think it's a novel mechanic, but people aren't, just people aren't doing it. Aren't doing it just because it's a novel mechanic. So he's going to royal him. He's still going to take four. Okay. Unless he's got a flame sweep, this is, this is going to be over pretty quick. Nope, that's not it. He's gonna scry. Good game, man. All right, there we go, folks. Two in a row. Uh, as you can see, the board gets pretty overwhelmed. Even playing a removal. Part of the reason that I do like it is because there are twenty-five creatures, and you are generating a lot of tokens. So even people playing removal, your cards are so cheap that half the time, whatever removal they're playing is um is not even is, is less expensive than is more expensive than whatever cards you're playing so they're coming up they're coming up sideways on 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 removal costs and just nobody has that much removal so death touch tribal i think is a very good deck um i've done very well with them are they a mythic level deck i don't think so are they diamond certainly um, is that tricky thing with the counters worth it? Probably not. This is a little expensive, but I'm going to keep it. Just so I can see what the mid-range... Uh, uh, I can see what the mid-range abilities of this thing is. So, forest. Yisof! Yisof is here! Alright, we're running into a... Another... Elf deck here. I, I've done him in generous. I've 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 succeeded in generous. I've I, I don't think that's too generous. Uh, well, sweaty diamond no, but normal diamond yes. End of the season diamond no, but beginning middle middle season yeah, it's it's possible. Definitely. Riot, you can play an extra land a turn.
So what I'm going to do is um, I don't know if I want to use Wilt on that Dryad yet, but I'm thinking about doing it. Draugr Necromancy, interesting. Tanuki is here. Um, I'm debating my next move. I don't think I'm going to do this. I'm going to get it, get it over with. Uh, Elvish Warmaster. Excellent. Uh, no attacks. He's got his own Skyfair winner there. Because he wants to untap the Draugr Necromancer. Uh, no blocks. I'll take the four. Heartless Ass. One more counter and all the elves. Put that out. Um, Dusk Rider out. Sculptor Winner out. Wilt. Yeah, it was nice. It was very nice. Uh, Skefcom Avenger. Um, I don't think I want War Master to go. Lanowar Visionary can go too. Oh, he's done. He's done. All right, that's three in a row, folks. We're racking them up, shuffling decks and breaking necks. Um, very good deck. Uh, I'll try it in Mythic in a little bit if I if the streak breaks. Um, but right now I'm just trying the queue, the regular queue. Regular queue is pretty tough right now. A lot of people are trying crazy stuff, so you never know what you're going to get. You run into some serious jank while everybody explores with Calvin. Force Mulligan, there it is for, for game number four. Uh, well, not, not that bad. Keep, I only need two. I'll get rid of yes. No, no. Regular forest. Okay. Tajira Blood Red. I'll try it next. Keep running into Golgari. Fangar the Fang Bearer. Uh, Weatherborn Preserver. Uh, decline. Human Warrior. Very nice. Oh, is this the is this the poison counter? This is the poison counter? He played two by accident. Oh, didn't get it. Did not know about that legendary rule. And he's out. Uh, that's four in a row, folks. Now, I have, a, I have a choice here. I can go for the six-win run. Four in a row. We're in striking distance um, of the six-win run. 
or I can go to Mythic and get my ass kicked. What y'all want to do? You want to go for the brass ring? Or you want to go get me, watch me get beat up real bad? Uh, I already know what y'all going to say, but yeah, I already know what y'all going to say. I already know what y'all are going to say. And look, it's an Ugin. Go figure. All Golgari, man. I don't know what's going on here. Getting out of control. He's just getting his Land of War Visionary out. He is just now getting his Land of War Visionary out. So we're we gonna do this. Tactician. Very nice. Uh, we're gonna have to put you out. He's done. He's out of there. That's a fiver, folks. That's a fiver in Mythic. <clears throat> now the real question is now: Do we want to get? the six win run in Mythic, or do we want to go back to the regular pay play queue to get it? Hmm? Which one do we want to do? We want to try to go take on Yorian Doom? Uh, a crazy jank ram to Ukin? Or do we want to just seal the deal and uh, go home? Uh, which do you think? Stay in Mythic, all right. Take a little sip of water here. I'm blaming you if it goes wrong, Macbeth. Okay with this. These Elvish War Masters are what does it. Alright, so we're gonna play Woodland Chasm first. We're a little slow. Uh, Elvish War Master is gonna come out. He's playing blue, so is it? A glimpse of the Cosmos. I don't even think I've seen that. As long as you control. Oh, it's the giant. It's the is it giant? It is is it giant, folks. Is it giant? It's a bit strange that he used tropical islands for his. There it is. <clears throat> I will take a big hit to get feed of the feed the swarm on a next giant. Okay. Binding of the Old Gods we can play immediately. So if he does put down a giant, uh, we're going to bind the Old Gods and immediately come in for a banger. Uh, 
Uh, so let's see here. He's this Calamity Bear. Okay. So he's going to be real upset with that. Oh, he didn't even play him yet. He's going to play the Royal Scions instead. Interesting. I think he's playing a little too slow here. I think he's playing a little too slow. Because I'm going to bind the old gods immediately. On whatever, whatever comes out of that gate. I'm going to bind the old gods immediately. Absolute elf madness here. Look at this. Charge. All right. Next giant spell costs two last. He's going to play Calamity Bearer, I assume. Um... Ooh, nice. Mm, a quest of mystery. Nice. All right. We're gonna try creature and enchantment. Um. I don't want to take five. I'll wait on that. We're gonna end turn. We're just gonna hold steady. That that battle, frost and fire, absolutely, um, absolutely saved his life. Uh, there it is. I know he's got to be feeling the sting now. There's Tectonic Giant. There's Glimpse of the Cosmos. Exile it. Alright. Royal Science was an interesting choice. Um, Knowledge. Interesting choice. Glimpse, another glimpse of the cosmos. Very nice. All right. Let's so search our library for a forest. It's going to be a woodland chasm since it comes in tapped. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. Um, uh, I might as well do it. Uh, each opponent loses X. He's going to lose two life. Um, Giant's grasp. He grabbed him. He's going to squash him. Alright. Five damage with three, I assume. I'm gonna have to take four to get rid of him. There's my more visionary. Draw a card. It's gonna hurt. There's Calamity Bear. The last glimpse of the cosmos comes out. The last glimpse of the cosmos comes out. Invasion of the Giants. Scry 2. Let's see what we get. 
Wilderborn Preserver, so let's try this first. Uh, Alright, so what do we want on the board? We want an Elvish Warmaster. We want to do that. We want to make that, and then we want to decline. Um, no attacks. Down to one. Oop, there's four to every creature. Uh, so he can attack with Calamity Bear. Um, if he had Trample, he'd be in pole position right now. He would be in pole position right now if he had Trample. Two Battle of Frost and Fires is a, is a, is a tough look. Is a tough look, guys. Really, really tough look. And of course, we come in with the clutch here. Look at that. I'm fighting. This is an epic battle. They'll sing songs of this day. We are fighting the hell out of each other right now. Um, we are fighting the hell out of each other right now. Oh, and there he is. The direct damage. The direct damage. Uh, very close. Got board wiped twice. Um, got board wiped twice. Uh, very, very powerful deck. The, the uh, Is It Giant deck. The Frost and Fire Giant deck. Uh, very, very, very powerful. Um, almost got the six win run, except for McBash. Um, ruined everything and ruined everybody's good time and uh, ruined the video and basically ruined my life. So uh, I hope you're happy. You monster. Bakawana Kunawa. Um, I, uh, I really enjoy, I enjoyed it though. I mean, honestly, I don't mind, I've said it before, I don't mind an epic battle. I like an epic battle. Oh, and we get to play on this lovely playmat. The McBlame. Alright, so we need you out. Um, what did me in was that damn feed the, um, was that damn feed the swarm. If we didn't have a feed the swarm, uh, if we had something else besides that, we would have had a, a better situation altogether. I'm going to pretty quick here. Triome. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. We have a uh, Tyvark Hell, which we haven't been able to play yet. I'm telling you, Elvish Warmaster with these Elf decks, it gets you, it gets your board still under control. I got board wiped twice. Um, and I think that's pretty impressive that it got him down to six. Um, I think uh, Heart of the Cards on that one. Raven form. Interesting. Uh, he's going to put Raven form down on me. Alright. Oh, attack. Alright. Boast. Alright. Finding the old guys. Okay, we don't really have a big one. I'm going to be able to draw a card here. Alright, so uh, Skelfheim Avengers coming right back out. Thank you, buddy. And of course, there we go. See how easy this is? See how easy this is? These elves are not screwing around. These elves are not screwing around. Uh, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do a full attack. And then, of course, we're gonna boast. And of course, just go ahead and win. See, that'd have been a six-win run. Um, uh, just that easy, folks. Um, did win in Mythic, but lost to that serious, serious giant deck. Um, 
That is a serious giant deck. I'm not going to lie. That is a very serious giant deck. Uh, I'm going to probably make my own version of that the way I like it, a la carte. Um, but that's seven games. That's seven one. That's a six one win right there. That's um, I'm bad at math, so that's something like eighty five percent win rate overall. I think I don't know. Very high. It's very good. I, the statistics will probably do it. The do it dirty here because I was still tweaking it when I was playing it. So um, should be pretty high though. Yeah, seventy six percent win rate. Um, and that is including mythic games. So. Not bad, guys. Oh, what is this guy? 100% win rate? That's absolute unstoppable deck. I guess we'll have to wait and see for that one, guys. Uh, very good deck. I like Elves. Uh, it is very good. I think I could probably even hone it to a finer point. Um, I think probably one of the few changes that I would do... Let me export as it is right now. All right. Uh, probably one of the final changes I would do... Um, is I would probably get rid of Feed the Swarm and put something else in. Um, that one cost us the game. Uh, it, 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 it made us lose five life. We might have been able to come back if we didn't have to Feed the Swarm and take that damage. So, uh, As you can see, Sagas are hitting the board like crazy, which is why I think Wilt is a great choice for right now. Um, I do not regret having uh, putting uh, Wilt in there. Um, I think it's solid, very solid. So that's the only change that I would think about making. Whoops, what did I take out? Elvish Warmaster. You guys are sleeping on Elvish Warmaster. We better get that. Better get it together, because uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing something else with Elvish Warmaster too, because he is too powerful. All right. So I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, that is like a very very high win rate. Very good. Um, took us pretty far, except for McBash. It would have been a six win run. Uh, which I'll never forgive him for, for as long as he lives. Um, but hey, I'm not bitter about it. I'm really not. Um, I'll just never forget it until I die, and then come back as a ghost and haunt him. Uh, because I lost one game of magic. So, but I'm not bitter. So, uh, no, nah, I kid, guys. In case, in case, uh, in case that's not obvious, I, I, I miss, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm messing around. Yeah, I also would think I would probably get rid of Big Bash. Did make a good haul here. These tap lands, eh, not really worth it. Not really worth it. So, um, you don't really need the snow covered that much. If you really want to get rid of the snow, get rid of Sculptor of Winter and just put more uh, Jaspera Sentinels um, down. Uh, if you want to go the snowless route, uh, personally, I would never want to be snowless. Um, <laughs> uh, if you want to go completely snowless, get rid of Sculptor Winter, add another Tajiri, add another one of them. Blah, blah. Boom, you're done. One and done. So that's how we could call it. All right? So I'm going to leave it there. This video is actually pretty short because we beat people up so fast. Um, so until next time, folks, uh, I've been Jay Villain, and you guys have been great. Bye-bye.